This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Space 2014. I'm interviewing on behalf of Becca Hilburn's art process blog, Nato Soup, Keep on Trucking. If you could introduce yourself, please. I'm uh, Drew Brackington, and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, originally. All right, Drew, what brings you to Space this year? Well, uh, so this is, last year was my first year doing comics ever, like going oh, wow. to shows and stuff like that. And this year I was like, I'm going to try to double the amount of shows that I'm going to. So I, I tried to go... I'm trying to go to like 12 shows throughout the year. and this Evenly spaced out or you're kind of just crunch them in whenever you can? <laughs> yeah, just kind of like if I have a free weekend and something's available. Yeah. And uh, this is one that I could actually, it's a long drive that I can drive to, so that makes it like an instant go, I think. Okay. So are you trying to make conventions like your bread and butter? Is is this your plan to, to monetize comics? No, like, it's, I think like with comics, like you have to, you have to produce and if you want to publish, if you want to submit stuff for publishing, you have to have it either 80% completed or completed or in a place that you're ready to sell it. And what do you do in between, in between. now and then? Yeah. So in between now and then, I decided to take my work and shows. You know, so, right. Because um, fans aren't going to be nearly as critical as yeah. as a publisher might be. Yeah. So and in between, it's really fun, and I'm meeting like networking and yeah. you know. So, is your goal um, more to, to network with uh, your your fans, or is it more to network with the uh, publishers? I know editors attend conventions yeah. and they shop around a bit. Yeah, I think like it's a little of both. It's to get my name out there, obviously, and then also just to um, yeah, just to meet other people in the industry and talk to. A lot of it is like talk to artists that are already established or something like that, and then just try to get their two cents on everything. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, hopefully make some money in the yeah, process. Huh? Yeah, you know, and I'm, my, my goal for every show is cover travel costs and, you know, break even, basically. Right. Yeah. And I've been fortunate uh, enough recently that I've been hitting my net zero. So. But, uh, no, it's been fun. Uh, sounds great. Can you tell me a little bit about your work? So, yeah, my work is, I like to do a lot of bad jokes and puns um, and just kind of put that on paper and I think a lot of my drawings have that kind of fun feeling to them and it just it starts like all my stories start around a joke basically um, or you know some kind of fun idea or something like that so right um, and are you kind of testing these things out online first or you're just going yeah. with your gut and just starting to make a comic and if yeah. you feel it works continue yeah some of that is um, yeah, like tumblr is a huge asset like I can put things on there and then people like it and then you know I kind of get an idea of do I want to pursue this or not yeah. but um, also like I'm doing like that's why I do the mini comics is to try out like s types of stories sure. see like what works and what doesn't work and um, yeah there's not as much investment yeah and that one I can print at home versus like something full color you know I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little more thought into do I want to do something like that so, so are you are are you seeing comics as kind of like a, a prototyping thing where you you introduce a comic in like a basic form on Tumblr and then maybe you make a mini about it and then you consider bring it to a con and then potentially show it to an editor? Is that kind of the, yeah, the yeah, basic yeah. idea? It's definitely like, um, like I mean a, a big thing I think I mean obviously not everyone not everyone has that yeah. that particular process but I, yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is like is that is that what you're shooting towards? Is yeah that, I think okay? it is it's something I stumbled across and right now it's it's working yeah. and you know it's like this book I love this story it's like a rock and roll deal with the devil thing but nobody really likes it so when so you now, say nobody you mean editors haven't latched on to it I or mean, your fans haven't been as yeah, enthusiastic like, as you know? like very rarely people pick it off the table and you know it could be the title or something like that or what's going on but um, but it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, and this is something that I would love to expand and make into like a full feature-length story, yeah. but um, but now I'm like, I don't. 
don't have to touch that. <laughs> you know, it was fun. It's done. I can move on to a new idea. So. Yeah, and that's the great thing about doing conventions and about making mini comics is you get that instant feedback because, yeah. well, it's a little bit harder to get noticed on the internet, but at right. least with the table, someone your cover catches someone's eye and they come up and flip through it. Yeah, and you can kind of gauge what's going to go. With you. So, but yeah, but so far, like the shows have been really fun and just uh, it's funny to see different places like demographically like people are into different things and um, you know so I felt like like last weekend at MoCA like everyone had kind of like a higher art level you know like uh, yeah were, technical ability yeah. was a little bit higher yeah and they were kind of gauging on that versus like bad jokes was like more at a, at a lower end of things, so yeah um, well it seems to have been changing over the years I, I think the first year I went to MoCA Fest was a little bit more of the like uh, I guess I could say hipster is sort of like yeah it's, lots of antlers <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, just casual comics uh, yeah. would, would be a, a good way of putting it more zines and minis than yeah. there were perfect bound books and those sort of things uh, certainly there's there's nothing wrong with either but um, what what have you found have been some of the differences between some of the uh, small to medium shows like Space versus the larger shows like uh, Mocha Fest or SPX I or Ape the, or the variety is actually greater in the smaller shows okay um, um, like the variety of variety the of artists of or the artwork? variety of the people who are coming here? Of both, I think. Okay. Like, um, like at this show, we did like a walk around before sitting down and stuff, and it was like, there's some really cool stuff out there, and it's all, I mean, it's all homemade, and it's very, like, coming from such different um, backgrounds, I guess. Yeah. Um, like, there's, there's like really cool horror stuff, there's like some guy with like a whole like Woodstock theme. <laughs> Um, there's like your indie superheroes and everything like that. Um, you know, there's me, I have like funny weird stuff and kid stuff, you know, so yeah, it's kind of like a big variety. But in, People in, uh, are just making comics about what they know. Yeah. And yeah. Many comics. Uh, and it, in, uh, at MoCA, like I felt like there was this like uh, kind of like unspoken style or, or trend or something. Like I noticed like there's a lot of the same color palettes and, you know, people are into risograph and screen printing so a lot of the same techniques are used do you think that's the influence of SVA I know SVA is um, pretty close to yeah I mean it, it could be I know that there's a lot of, because that community is so big out there and, and yeah. you know there's pretty much I don't know maybe like a handful of comic shops that everybody goes to in the whole city um, at least you know like once a month or something like that sure. so like everybody's looking at the same stuff and going to the same parties and things like that. They so, just all start producing yeah, the same things. Yeah, I think that kind of stems from there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, it's it's fun. And it's, it's also like that's the place I think um, like just random people coming up to the booth will ask technical questions like, oh, what paper is this on? And, stuff like that. and then like here uh, or at the smaller show, like you, you know, other artists are like you're swapping your stories about like, oh, where'd you get that printed and what's that on? And stuff like that. Yeah, but it's not so much like people from the crowd or finding you out and stuff like that. It's kind of nasty. So, okay. it's fun. Uh, well, would you have any advice to anyone who's considering coming to space for the first time? Yeah, I think, uh, well, I know, this is my first year here, so I, uh, I'm learning <laughs> Yeah, the show's just go. starting. So. Yeah, and the show <laughs> just started an hour or so ago. But, like, my advice in general is just to experiment with different stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I, minis are fun. You can make them at home. And then, you know, prints are a nice way to just, to, like, get to show more of your work, I think. Yeah. They look pretty on the table, and they're yeah. relatively inexpensive to produce. Um, and certainly drawing a younger audience easier with a, with a big print. Yeah, yeah, right? Lots of big colors. So. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just experiment with your subjects and your medium. And, you know, I don't know. My, also, if, like, if it makes me laugh, then hopefully it'll make somebody else laugh. Definitely. So just be true to yourself and yeah. try the show. Yeah, follow your heart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I hope you have a good space. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Yeah.